Hey, what is up, everybody? Sorry if I look like crap, and I just got out of the shower. So, uh, this is going to be the start of my WrestleMania 32 trip video. I'm, I actually still haven't decided what I'm going to call this video yet, if it's going to be WrestleMania 32 trip or Texas trip. So, whatever one it ends up being more of. If I get more WrestleMania 32 coverage, then I'll do a WrestleMania 32 trip video. If I get more Texas coverage, then I'll do more. That'll be called a Texas video. So, um, yeah, so, uh, right now it's, uh, March 31st, 2016, 11.26 a.m. I have to make this a little quick because we have to leave in a couple minutes. So we're about to actually get in the car to drive to the airport. And, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this trip. I uh, have been waiting to go for this trip because uh, I had talked about how I wanted to go to WrestleMania since uh, August. Um, and uh, I can't believe it's actually going to happen. I actually didn't think it was going to happen. I thought it was going to be one of those things where we talked about it, that it wasn't going to happen at all. But I'm actually happy it's happening, um, and I'm stoked for it. So, uh, yeah, so I'll probably try to update you guys more when I get in the call. So uh, I'll see you then. So hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, video. Okay, everyone, so I just got to the uh, airport and at my gate right now, and I'm just going to hang out and chill until my plane takes off. I can't believe I'm about to take off to go to WrestleMania. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah, I still can't believe it. I'm in shock about that, and I uh, can't wait for it. I'm really pumped for it. I can't wait. But, uh, so I'll update you guys either when I land or when I get on the plane. We aboard. Our captain today is John Sanders. And it's a team with a flight deck, our first officer, Stephen Scipione. And they, too, welcome you aboard and let us know our flying time. Once we're airborne and wheels are up, four hours and 22 minutes down to Dallas. Your safety is our top priority, so we feature, appreciate a few minutes of your attention while we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. You can follow along with the safety information card in your seat back pocket. Federal aviation regulations require compliance with all crew member instructions, lighted information signs, and posted placards. Fasten your seatbelt, insert the flat metal, flat metal end into the buckle and pull and strap to tight to release just the top flap of the buckle. And please keep your seatbelt fastened low and tight across your lap, even when the seatbelt sign is off, and have your seatbelt visible to the crew at all times. Your light vest is in a pouch under your seat. If instructed by the crew, tear open the pouch, remove the vest, and pull it over your head. Wrap the strap around your waist, and then secure the buckle and pull the strap to tight. As you exit the aircraft, inflate the vest by pulling down firmly on the red tabs or blowing into the tubes on both sides. The locator light on the shoulder will turn on automatically in the water and never inflate your vest inside the aircraft. <laughs> this Airbus A320 has eight emergency exits, two doors in the front, four window exits over the wings, and two doors in the back. Each door is equipped with an evacuation slide that can be detached from the aircraft and used as a raft. All exits are clearly marked with a sign overhead. If necessary, flow level lighting will illuminate the aisle to help you find the exits. Please take a moment now to locate your closest exit and remember it might be behind you. If there is a change in cabin pressure, four oxygen masks will drop from overhead. Firmly pull a mask towards you to start the flow of oxygen. Place it over your nose and mouth. Pull the elastic band around your head and tighten using the straps on both sides. Even though the bag may not inflate, oxygen will be flowing. And be sure to put your mask on first before you help others. And we'll let you know when it is no longer needed. We'll be passing through the cabin to make sure we're ready for our departure here from Boston. You can help us by checking your seatbelt. It's securely fastened. Seat back trade table stowed and all carrying items are put away. Especially those bags on the floor. Just make sure they're tucked all the way forward underneath the seat in front of you. If you do have any questions about the safety features of this Airbus A320, please don't hesitate to ask. Smoking, including the use of electronic cigarettes, is never allowed on any JetBlue flight. Tamper with, disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in the aircraft restroom is a federal offense that could result in a fine. And in just a moment, we'll be bringing down the main cabin lights. If you do need, there's a reading light located directly overhead. And if you happen to press that orange flight attendant call button by mistake, you press the same orange button one more time, that will reset it. Also bringing on the in-flight entertainment. <coughs> it takes a few minutes to power back up, go through its startup pages without running too far behind, but uh, y'all did such a good job on the 
boarding there. We got everyone on with a full load pretty quick. We're just going to put these movies on complimentary for you. So if you're thinking about watching a movie or buying a movie, they're on the house today. So enjoy them. There will, will be the southbound movies for the month of, look at them, give it up. Southbound movies for the month of March. They're, uh, I don't know, I used to think Dallas was westbound. I don't know why, but uh, it's southbound on our, in our paperwork. So a little southwest. So enjoy the movies, they're free, but we have 36 channels of live TV that should be uh, logging onto the satellites in just about four or five minutes, and then our Wi-Fi comes on after we climb through 10,000 feet. Both systems are Wi-Fi, I mean satellite-based, so we'd like to point out if we're turning on takeoff landings, a couple of parts of the country between here and Dallas, a few spots that might not have good satellite coverage, we can lose the signal, that is normal. And if we get into any weather, but the captain says we've got to keep us out of that weather, so hopefully everything will be working just nice all the way down. Is there anything Amanda and Deborah I can do to make your flight more comfortable, please let us know. And the last thing we'd like to point out on all these longer flights, especially there's three restrooms on board. They each have infant changing stations in them. One right up by where I'm standing on the front left. The other two are just past row 25 on the left and right. And the same lights like this are back there. There's two of them. A green light means it's not that it's not occupied, it's open, and if it's bright red, it's occupied. So as you walk forward or back, you can uh, tell which restaurant's available. Now sit back, relax, let's have a nice flight down to Dallas Fort Worth.
currently number four for departure license. Please be seated.
Okay, everyone, so now it's April 1st, 2016, 12, well, actually, I don't know, my laptop's warm because uh, I have to go by my phone, 11.41 a.m., and I woke up about 9.30, and um, I, uh, actually, if you saw my trip, because I actually took a look at my Snapchat story and saved it, and uh, I took that, and uh, I'm going to use that in the video I'm putting together. Not all the stuff that I do is going to be in this video, though. You do have to go to, like, my Facebook and stuff to check that stuff out. Um, but, well, for those of you that have me on Facebook. So, uh, but anyhow, um, pretty much last night, um, me and my friend, me and my cousin watched a uh, movie. It was called uh, Kinsman, the S Secret Organization or something like that. And um, we played Mario Kart. We um, just had family time because go out and really do a lot because they had school the next day um and i just woke up uh and uh watched some hype videos to hype me up for wrestlemania and uh did my wrestlemania 32 preview slash predictions which is currently up right now and uh i'm about to do some homework try to get that done because uh, i got to do some essays and stuff like that for english and stuff like that so um yeah um this I can't wait for, like I said, still can't wait for WrestleMania, and I'm really excited for it. So, um, and as you guys saw too, I think we, I don't know if it's in the thin, but we ended up going to, um, a place called Duff's, which is like Duff, probably saw it on Facebook, uh, chick, which is a place that has awesome chicken wings. They're really awesome. So, um, that's definitely a place I would recommend to go when you come up here to Texas. So, um, hope you guys, uh, enjoy um you know uh texas if you're here um but i'm gonna continue doing this i'm gonna do my homework now and i'll update you guys when i get another opportunity either if it's by me just doing a video or like a f photos or something like that You know, everyone, I just thought of something. In 48 hours, I get to see my idol, The Undertaker, live at a WrestleMania. That's awesome. Also, this too. Imagine my reaction when I see him. And then I get to see him kick Shane McMahon's ass. It's going to be the greatest thing of all time. Okay, everyone, I just got out from seeing Batman vs. Superman, and it was an awesome movie. Uh, I wouldn't say awesome, but it was pretty good. It's not as bad as I... Okay, everyone, so as you saw, I've been out to eat all day today. We went out to two, two Mexican restaurants, two taco places, and it was awesome. And I'm just sitting here because my uh, uncle went to the store. So, uh, you know, I'm having a great time here. Um... We're going to go to the movies tonight. We're going to see Batman vs. Superman. Even though I hear that's terrible in a way. I hear... I kind of want to see it just to see how bad it is. I'm hoping it's not bad. But I hear it's pretty bad. And the fact that I hear it's so bad makes me actually kind of want to see it. I don't know. I don't Just tell me if you guys, you know, feel the same way. But I can't wait because, um, you know, I get to do my uh, WrestleMania... I get to go. I'm still going to WrestleMania, going to the Hall of Fame. I even just saw, and as you saw, I have really, I'm gonna be really close actually to the Hall of Fame. Anyways, WrestleMania, I'm gonna be pretty close to, because uh, there are friends that, are my uncle that are going that are up like in the nosebleed seats, and I'm not up in the nosebleed seats, so I actually can't wait to see WrestleMania. I'm still pumped for it. All right, everyone. It's April first, two thousand sixteen. Now it's. 3.32 p.m. Um, I, didn't, I know I updated you not that long ago, but I figured I'd show you my tickets for uh, WrestleMania and the Hall of Fame. I'm going to start with the Hall of Fame since that's events first. And there it is right there. I mean, there's not a lot to say. It's uh, WWE Hall of Fame and even has like a hashtag Hall of Fame. It's going to be at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas on Saturday, April 2nd, 2016. And it's 
It says 6.30 p.m. We're not sure when we have to be there yet, but we're going to leave at um, 12. Um, and then um, my seat is I'm in section 106, row S, seat 9. So that's awesome. I can't wait to, uh, go. like I said, can't wait to the go to the Hall of Fame. Um, and uh, really excited for that. And then uh, now my WrestleMania ticket. See it right here. Um, and my WrestleMania, it says WWE presents WrestleMania, and you can't have any lasers or video cameras, but they always let people record. And my seat, it says right here, AT&T Stadium. Um, su and it's on Sunday, April 3rd, 2016. Now it says we have to be at that 5 o'clock p.m. And, we're gonna, and I'm going to be sitting in section. I don't know if you can see that, but section... 226 row 14 and I don't and I'm gonna be sitting at seat three so I actually that's still pretty close um I'm really stoked for uh this we even got a parking pass too for the Hall of Fame which I'm really excited about and we're, I'm hoping since we're leaving early tomorrow to go to Dallas Texas I can run into some uh, WWE superstars while I'm there maybe I'll meet some people that would be awesome and I could, and I'd be stoked if that happened. But uh, yeah, I thought that I can't wait for like I've, I'm just hyping it up. But I really can't wait to go to this stuff. Um, and I'm really stoked for that. So uh, hope you guys uh that are going uh, enjoy it, and I hope you guys that are watching it on the WWE Network enjoy it. So I will be back to update you guys when I get another opportunity. Okay, everyone, so I figured I'd show you what I'm going to be wearing for the Hall of Fame tonight. Um, I'm going to be wearing my black pants, like a blue striped polo shirt. And then I'm going to be wearing these dress shoes right here. And uh, yeah, Hall of Fame's in a few hours, and I can't wait for it. I'm going to change into this now, and then when I actually change into it, I'll take a picture and include it in this video. Okay, everyone, I figured I'd show you what I look like. So this is what I actually look like with all this stuff on. Uh, I look pretty good. I even have the dress shoes on on the bottom. And uh, I really can't wait to go to this event. Um, and I'm uh, really excited for it. I'm going to try to take like a bunch of pictures. I'm going to... Um, I know this looks really awkward because I'm doing this like in, in a mirror. But I'm going to be... Uh, Periscoping, never periscoped before. Well, I periscoped once just as a test, but this is gonna be like my first full on periscope. And I hope I can make this work. I'm not gonna periscope the entire event, but I'm gonna periscope most of the event. And uh, then I'll transfer it onto my phone, to Facebook, and upload it on this channel. But for those of you that have periscope and wanna see it, there you go. Eat it. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, everyone, I know I kind of showed you this uh, already, but I figured I'd actually show you the program itself that I got for WrestleMania. Um, but more in depth than I did before. Um, so it has obviously all the big matches. Um, Beginning Ambrose vs. Brock Lesnar in the street fight. Shane McMahon vs. The Undertaker. Triple H vs. Roman Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And sh the tr triple threat match for the Divas title between Sasha Banks, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch. Now I'll show you what's actually inside it. Um, I guess this is supposed to be a Snickers commercial. And then it says on the inside, WrestleMania's event without equal or president. There was no greater canvas on which history can be written, no greater stage on which champions may walk. It is the birthplace of legends and the showcase of the immortals. You will be 
able to say I was there when superstars become heroes, heroes become legends. Heroes became legends. When superstars became heroes, heroes became legends and legends became immortal. And it says WrestleMania 32, Dallas, Texas. And it says that all on the inside. I mean, it goes through, like, the matches, actually. This is a really cool program, nothing. So it has, like, Triple H, obviously, versus Roman Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And it says, like, a little background. It says, no disqualification match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H with Stephanie McMahon versus Roman Reigns. Then it says, after being put out of commission by Roman Reigns at Survivor Series, which it really wasn't at Survivor Series. It was at tables, ladders, and chairs. Triple H has made it his mission to make Reigns life a living hell. He did that at the he did it he did just that at Royal Rumble, taking the title to claim his fourteenth world championship and again by putting him out of action indefinitely. But on the granite stage of the mall, Roman Reigns is sparing no one and spewing everyone. Can Roman Reigns regain the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and take down Triple H once and for all, or will the Ken of Kins regain Reign you know, Supreme at the end of the showcase of the Immortals. And then it shows this match. Everybody obviously knows what this match is. Um, Hell in a Cell, Shane McMahon versus Undertaker. If Shane McMahon wins, which he won't, he gets full control of Monday Night Raw. Um, here comes the money. After Shane McMahon made a shocking return to WWE, Mr. McMahon cons- concoded... I think that's what that says... A WrestleMania-sized punishment that only someone of Mr. McMahon's stature could devise. A match for control of Monday Night Raw against Undertaker. The fate of WWE is on the line as Shane McMahon returns to competition to battle the dead man. In one of the most brutal matches in WWE history. Hell in a Cell. Can, Hell in a cell. can Shane O'Mac dig deep down... Down to complete the near impossible task of beating the Phenom at WrestleMania, or will Undertaker take the prodigal McMahon's son straight to hell? And the second question is going to be what happens. And then it has this match. Everybody knows what this match is. It's uh, a no holds barred street fight: Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman. The beast incarnate Brock Lesnar has conquered every superstar in his path of destruction, but only one keeps fighting back. Dean Ambrose. Will the Ambrose Asylum help Dean finally conquer Brock Lesnar in a match where there are no rules? Or will Brock Lesnar get his vengeance on the lunatic fringe by sending him to Su- by sending him straight to Suplex City? And then it shows this match. It's AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. The careers of AJ Styles and Chris Jericho have run almost parallel to each other. Both made their names internationally before arriving in WWE and are known for their speed, explosiveness, and innovative offense. Now the two WWE superstars go head-to-head on the grandest stage of them all. Can AJ Styles get his revenge on his former Y2AJ partner and claim victory at his first WrestleMania? Or will the veteran Chris Jericho use his experience to get the better of the phenomenal one? And now it shows this match. You can't really see. I can't show you, but this match. It's la- It's a ladder match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Kevin Owens versus Stardust versus The Miz versus Sami Zayn versus Dolph Ziggler versus Sin Cara versus Zack Ryder. Kevin Owens enters... His first WrestleMania, or as Owens has been calling it, KO Mania, with the odds stacked against him as he defends his prestigious WWE Intercontinental Championship against six other superstars in a ladder match. Can the self proclaimed prize fighter rise above the challenge, or will the show off, the Prince of Dark Manor, the A List of the Lucha Dragon, the Long Island IC, or the upstart Sami Zayn become the new WWE Intercontinental Champion? And then it shows uh, this match, and it's a WWE United States Championship match, Kalisto versus Ryback. In a battle of David versus Goliath, the massive Ryback challenges Kalisto for the WWE United States Championship. Can the challenger seize the spotlight against the high-flying leader of the Lucha movement, or will speed overcome size 
at the Showcase of the Immortals. The WWE United States Championship is on the line at WrestleMania. And then it shows this match. And it's uh, Total Divas, which, ha which is Bui Bella Page, which consists of, I should have said, Total Divas, which consists of Bui Bella Page, Natalia, and Alicia Fox, versus Bad and Blonde, which consists of Lana, Summer Rae, Naomi, and Tamina. Um, which is odd, because I thought Emma was in this match, but, eh. I guess they made this before, but even Marie and Emma are supposed to be in this match, but they're not, so. I think they might have changed that. Do Bui Bella and her all-star team of Total Divas have what it takes to trouble the villainous group led by the Ravishing Russian, or will the female Fatal Foursome put on a show of their own? The Texas size rivalry is ready to explode at WrestleMania. So I don't know what happened. I guess they took out Eva Marie and Emma. And then on here it shows uh, WrestleMania Superstore. It shows uh, John Cena, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, um, Brie Bella, Alicia Fox, Ryback, Nikki Bella, Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns, Sheamus, and Becky Lynch. It says the largest selection of WWE merchandise under one roof. Hmm. I might have missed a match. Oh yeah, I missed a few match. Sorry, I missed a match. I missed a few matches actually. Hold on. Just hold on. Yeah, I I it's flipped over too far. Hold on. So this is now it shows that now I'm gonna go backwards a little bit. Now I'm gonna show you this match, and it's a triple threat match for the WWE Divas Championship. Charlotte with Ric Flair versus Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch. Ever since the Divas Revolution began, three has been. No, there has been nothing but fierce competition to see what, which athlete is the absolute best. On this night, WWE Divas, Divas Champion Charlotte defends her coveted title against her former friends and NXT rivals, the last kicker Becky Lynch and the boss Sasha Banks. Which Diva will cement their legacy in their first WrestleMania appearance? A new revolution starts here. And then it shows this match. It's... WWE Tag Team Champions, The New Day versus The League of Nations. The New Day has risen to new heights and have declared 2016 their year. The group's friendship is longer than ever. No, it's stronger than ever. And they are the reigning WWE Tag Team Champions. Despite their success, there was one group who wants to derail their trio's actions. The League of Nations. Can WWE's international power take down the power of positivity, or will the New Day celebrate victory with a box of bootios at WrestleMania? And then, uh, next match it shows you is this match. And it's the Usos versus the Dudley Boys in order to prove that they are not... A nostalgia act, the Dudley Boys have targeted the WWE's universe favorite high flying face painting tag team, the Usos. Can Bubba Ray and Devon get back on track by defeating the crowd favorites, or will the Usos go hard in the face paint to defeat the nine time WWE tag team champions? Two of WWE's most excited tag teams face each other on the grandest stage of them all. And then the last match it shows you is this match, and it's the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. For the second year in a row, the Andre... Well, it's actually... It really is the third year in a row. I don't know why it says the second. But for the third year... So, but it says the second. The Andre the Giant Memorial Trophy is on the line at WrestleMania. Which WWE superstar will channel... Um, the strength of the larger-than-life legendary Hall of Famer and outlast the other superstars in a battle royal at the sh show of shows. The legacy of Andre the Giant lives on at WrestleMania. And then I already showed you that stuff. And now I'm going to show you the superstars. Uh, here's the people on this page. We have Triple H. And it shows his Twitter handle at Triple H. Stephanie McMahon. Her Twitter handle at Stephanie McMahon. Undertaker. Shane McMahon. Brock Lesnar. And his Twitter handle is at Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman. His Twitter handle is at Heyman Hustle. John Cena. Oh, yeah. I didn't show you this page. 
And then uh, John, so then John Cena, his Twitter handle is at John Cena. The Lock, his Twitter handle is at The Lock. Roman Reigns, and his Twitter handle is at WWE Roman Reigns. Alberto Del Rio, his Twitter handle is at Viva Del Rio. Dean Ambrose, and his Twitter handle is at The Dean Ambrose. And Kane, and his Twitter handle is at Kane WWE. And then there's this page. And, um... We have Seth Rollins, and his Twitter handle is at WWE Rollins. Chris Jericho, and his, Chris G his Twitter handle is at, w is at I am Jericho. And then we have Big Show, his Twitter handle is at WWE The Big Show. Randy Orton, his Twitter handle is at WWE, no, at Randy Orton. Uh, Sheamus, his Twitter handle is at WWE Sheamus. Kevin Owens, and his tw Twitter handle is at Fight Owens Fight. Then we have this page. And we have Charlotte, her Twitter handle is at Miss Charlotte WWE. Sasha Banks, her Twitter handle is at Sasha Banks WWE. Becky Lynch, her Twitter handle is at Becky Lynch WWE. Kofi Kinston, his Twitter handle is at True Kofi. Xavier Woods, and his Twitter handle is at Xavier Woods PhD. Big E, and his Twitter handle is at WWE Big E. Um, and here's this page. And we have... Bray Wyatt, his Twitter handle is at WWE Bray Wyatt. Luke Harper, his Twitter handle is at Luke Harper WWE. Then we have Eric Rowan, his Twitter handle is at Eric Rowan. Then we have Braun Strowman. Then we have Paige, and her Twitter handle is at Real Page WWE. Then we have Dolph Ziggler, his Twitter handle is at Hill Ziggler. Then it shows you uh, the WWE Cricket. Get a big network in your corner. Uh, then it shows you the new John Cena book. Then it shows you this page. Okay, so then it shows you this page. It's Nikki Bella at her Twitter handle is at Bella Twins and Bree Bella. She has the same Twitter handle since she's a Bella Twin. Then we got Rusev and his Twitter handle is at Rusev Bull. Then we have Lana and her Twitter handle is at Lana WWE. Then we have Jimmy Uso. And his Twitter handle is at WWE Usos. And then we have Jay Uso, and his Twitter handle is the same thing. And we got this page. And we have Kalisto, and his Twitter handle is at Kalisto WWE. Sin Cara. And we have. And his Twitter handle is at Sin Cara WWE. Then we have The Miz, and his Twitter handle is at Mike The Miz. Then we have uh, AJ Styles, and his Twitter handle is at AJ Styles Org. Then we have Ryback, and his Twitter handle is at Ryback22. <laughs> then we have Alicia Fox, and her Twitter handle is at Alicia Foxy. Then we have this page. And we have uh, Bubba Ray Dudley, and his Twitter handle is at Bubba Ray Dudley. Then we have Devon Dudley, his Twitter handle is at Testify Devon. Then we have Our Truth, and his Twitter handle is at Ron Killens. We have Neville on his Twitter handle is at WWE Neville. We have Stardust. His Twitter handle is at Stardust WWE. Then we have Goldust and his Twitter handle is at Goldust. Then we have uh, this page. Hold on. I... And then it's... Uh... And then uh, we have uh, Natalia and her Twitter handle is at Natal... Nat by Nature. We have Mark Henry. His Twitter handle is at the Mark Henry. We have Ken Barrett. His Twitter handle is at Wade Barrett. We have Cesaro, and his Twitter handle is at WWE Cesaro. We have Titus O'Neil, and his Twitter handle is at Titus O'Neil WWE. Then we have Darren Young, and his Twitter handle is at Darren Young WWE. And then it shows you all the videos you can get WrestleMania 32, which will be available March 10th. Best matches of 2015, the best of Raw and SmackDown 2015, NXT's greatest matches, straight out of Dudleyville, and U.S. Championship, a legacy of greatness, which will all be available. Then we hit shows WWE 2K16, then we hit shows you this page, and it's, and we have Heath Slater, and his Twitter handle is at Heath Slater OMRB. Then we have Bo Dallas, and his Twitter handle is at the Bo Dallas. Then we have Adam Rose, his Twitter handle is at WWE Adam Rose. Then we have Curtis Axel, and his Twitter handle is at Real Curtis Axel. Then we have Jack Swagger, his Twitter handle is at Real Jack Swagger. Then we have Damian Sandow, and his Twitter handle is at the Damian Sandow. Then we got this page, 
And uh, we have Naomi and her Twitter handles at Naomi WWE. Then we have Tamina and her Twitter handles at Tamina Snucker. Then we have Kano and his d- Twitter handles at Kano WWE. Then we have Victor. Then we ha- and his Twitter handles at Victor Lies WWE. Then we have Fernando and his Twitter handles at WWE Los Matadores. Then we have uh, Diego and he has the same Twitter handles since they're tag team partners. Then we got this page. And then we have uh, Fandango. And his Twitter handle is at WWE Fandango. Then we have Tyson Kidd and his Twitter handle is at Kid WWE. Then we have Zach Lido and his Twitter handle is at Zach Lido. Then we have Summer Way and her Twitter handle is at Real Summer Way. Then we have El Toledo. Then his Twitter handle is at Los Matadores. And we have Hornswoggle and his Twitter handle is at WWE Hornswoggle. Now we're getting to the NXT page. And here's the first one. And we have uh, Finn Balor, and he has the NXT Championship, and uh, his t- Twitter handle is at WWE Balor. We have Samoa Joe, his Twitter handle is at Samoa Joe. We have Aiden English, and his w- Twitter handle is at w- WWE Dramakin. Then we have Simon Gosh, and his Twitter handle is at Gosh Style WWE. Then we have Baron Corbin, and his Twitter handle is at Baron Corbin WWE. Then we have Asuka, and her Twitter handle is at WWE Asuka. Then we have this page. We have Eva Marie, and her Twitter handle is at Natalie Eva Marie. Then we have Bailey, her Twitter handle is at It's Bailey. Then we have Nakamura, and his Twitter handle is at Shinzink. I think that's how you say that. Then we have Apollo Cruz, and his di- Twitter handle is at Apollo Cruz. Then we have Chad Gable, and his t- Twitter handle is at WWE Gable. Jason Jordan, and his Twitter handle is at Jason Jordan JJ. Then we have this page. We have uh, Dash Wilder, and his t- Twitter handle is at Dash Wilder WWE. We have Scott Dawson, and his Twitter handle is at Scott Dawson WWE. Then we have Mojo Wally, and his Twitter handle is at Mojo Wally WWE. Then we have uh, Alicia Fox, and her Twitter, not Alicia Fox. We have Alexa Bliss, and her Twitter handle is at Alexa Bliss WWE. We have Blake, and his Twitter handle is at the WWE Blake. And we have um, Murphy. And his Twitter handle is at WWE Murphy. Then that little slash thing you see on the bottom. And then Murphy. Then it shows you a Dean Ambrose shirt you can get. I don't have the book for you. Huh? I don't have the book for you. Well, I'm, I'm showing it to the camera though too. That's right. I'm going to hold the book up. So okay. So you can see if I read it. Uh, hold on. Then, uh, so, hold. Yeah, so I'll like sit here and the book can see it. <sighs> Is this live or is it just... No. Oh, okay. So you can read it like this. Okay, so, uh... Hold on. Well, I can't read it like that, though. Oh, no, I can't. Hold on. All right, <laughs> so we got Carmella. I know Twitter. I can't see the Twitter handle. It says, at Carmella WWE. Yeah. Colin Cassidy and his Twitter handle is at Big Cass WWE. Enzo Amore, his Twitter handle is at WWE. Um... Yeah, that doesn't we won't. Okay. I think this one will all right, now you should they should be able to see it. Yeah. Okay. So uh Enzo Amore, his Twitter handle is at WWE All Day Twenty One. We have Elias Sampson and his W his Twitter handle, which is weird that he has one, uh, since he's supposed to be like a drifter. Mm-hmm. Is at I'm Sampson WWE. Then we have Dana Brooke and her Twitter handle is at Dana Brooke W W E we have Hideo Itami. His w, his Twitter handle is at Hideo Itami. We have Christopher Gerald, which is Biff Busick from Top World Promotions. He doesn't have a Twitter handle yet. He'll probably get one soon. We have Nia Jax and his Twitter hand, her Twitter handle. Sorry, is at Nia Jax WWE. We have Sawyer Fulton and his Twitter handle is at Fulton little slash then WWE. We have Angelo Dawkins and his Twitter handle is at Angelo Dawkins. Then we have Ty Dillinger, and his t- Twitter handle is at Ty- WWE Ty Dillinger. Then it shows Kayshawn Wafta. I've never seen this guy before in my life, so I can't tell you anything about him. Then we have Jerry the Kin Lawler. His Twitter handle is at Jerry Lawler. Michael Cole, his tw- Twitter handle is at Michael Cole. JBL, his Twitter handle is at JC Layfield. Then we have Booker T, and his Twitter handle is at Booker T 5X. We have Renee Young, her Twitter handle is at Renee Young, WWE. Moa Winalo, his Twitter handle is at Moa Winalo. Idian, 
Her Twitter handle is at Wheel Idiot WWE Lillian Garcia. Her Twitter handle is at Lillian Garcia. Then we have Marcelo Rodriguez. His Twitter handle is at Marcelo at WWE. Then we have Carlos Cabrera. His Twitter handle is at La Vaz Cabrera. Then we have Byron Saxon. His Twitter handle is at Byron Saxon. Then Tony Chimo. His Twitter handle is at Tony Chimo WWE. Then it shows you uh, the new WWE.com. Then we have Rich Brennan. His w his Twitter handle is at Rich Brennan WWE. Then we have JoJo and his her Twitter handle is at it's Joe's Ann. And then uh, we have Corey Graves and his Twitter handle is at WWE Graves. We have David Otunga and his Twitter handle is at David Otunga. Then we have Greg Hamilton and his Twitter handle is at Greg Hamilton. Then we have Alex Wise and his Twitter handle is at Alex Wise WWE. Then we have Scott Stanford and his Twitter handle is at Scott Stanford One. Then we have Daisha Fuentes. I don't know how to say the last name. Fuentes. Fuentes. And uh, her Twitter handle is at Daisha Fortez WWE. Then we have Tom Phillips and his Twitter handle is at WWE Tom. No, at Tom Phillips WWE. Then we have Kathy Kelly. Doesn't have a Twitter handle. Then it advertises the Edge and Christian show that totally reeks to awesomeness. Then it advertised Countdown, uh, the new movie that Kane and Dolph Ziggler are going to be in. And then it shows you every WrestleMania, which I'm not going to go into detail on that one. Um, every WrestleMania that's ever happened. And then uh, flipping it this way, now it, on the back, upside down, it shows you the Hall of Fame. It shows you the all, all the class. And then it, in here, it tells you like the list of inductees um, from 1993 all the way to 2016. And then it goes, uh, you know, it shows you this year's, and then it tells you a little article about them. And then uh, it just kind of goes into more detail about who who was in the Hall of Fame class. Um, and uh, that's it. That's all. That's the whole book. And then it advertises a new movie that Edge is going to be in. Um, and Lana. And Lana. But it hasn't come out yet. Um, so yeah, that's the whole book. Um, and uh, I'm going to get more stuff tonight. And hopefully the sh shirts I'm shooting to get for is uh, the WrestleMania t-shirt. And... Uh, the New Day t-shirts and other stuff like that. But, uh... Can't wait. <laughs> we have to wait and see. But, yeah, I can't wait for this night. And I'll update you guys later. I told everybody that Shane McMahon was going to lose at WrestleMania. And I was right. I told you I know my stuff. Everybody was born. Sorry, man. I told everyone that Taker was winning. Shane ain't getting control of nothing. The authority always wins. Yeah! Woo! I told everyone Shane was losing. I told everyone Taker was winning. And I was right. Yeah, I was. Everybody's gonna realize I was right. Everyone. When it comes to this type of stuff, I know what I'm talking about. Woo! So Steve, get your Undertaker shirt on, because we had a deal. I told everyone. One thing I want to say about this is now this is something that I can brag about for the rest of the year. This is something I'm going to brag about because you guys doubted The Undertaker's skills. And you guys deserve everything that's about to happen on this channel. For all of you doubters out there, be prepared because I am going to gloat and gloat and gloat and gloat. Okay, so after the Undertaker match, I needed to get a drink and stuff, so um, I did that and I got some stuff. 
I got some merchandise I'm just going to show you right now. Um, starting with this. I, I got this beforehand. It's the WWE WrestleMania Cup. Um, we have, so yeah, it really it looks really cool. I wanted to have this as memorabilia. Uh, it shows, you know, Dean, Dean, Dean Ambrose, Brock Lesnar, Shane McMahon, Undertaker, Triple H, Roman Reigns, Charlotte, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. Uh, that looks really cool. And then we got this. Now this is something, the, the, the guy next to me that I was telling you about had this. And I had to have it. The Money in the Bank briefcase. You know, I always wanted this thing. And I saw the chance to take it. I had the money. And I took it. Now obviously, I get, what sucks about it is I can't take it home with me. Because I'm going to be flying on a plane. But look at this thing. It looks awesome. My film put the camera down. And I'm gonna st I actually ended up putting... All my t-shirts and stuff in here. Okay. And I got this. I had to get this for Steve. Because we had a deal. That he had to wear an Undertaker t-shirt. What do you want? Death Valley. And then it writes, See you in hell, April 3rd, 2016. WrestleMania 32. Had to get this shirt, and Steve, be prepared, buddy, because you're going to be wearing this when we bring back the Aftershock Corner. And then we got... Don't you guys dare be sour and clap for your brand new t-shirts. This actually, this isn't mine. This is going to be, uh... Oh, crap. Uh, this is going to be my friend Chris's gift. He, uh, wanted a t-shirt. Um... Then I got this. WrestleMania t-shirt. Even shows you all the matches on the back. I wanted to get like one that said I was there, but I couldn't uh, find it. Um, so I had to kind of go with this one. Uh, but it was fine. And then we got the tickets themselves. It has like a little code here that shows you how to... Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, put a code on this thing. And then... Got this. New booty o cereal. Was it to... They make sure you ain't booty. Um, they, look, they look awesome, actually. I wish they was just a real thin. So yeah, that was aw that's awesome right there. Alright, next match, though, was the... Uh... Well, let me sit down and talk about it. Okay, so now it's April 5th, 2016, 12.50 p.m., and it's nearly the end of my trip. Reminds me of what the grandfather um, said it in a way in the visit. I, I'm just upset that it's almost the end of your trip. And that's kind of how I feel right now. Except he had a different motive than me. Um, right now, I'm just sitting down. I just woke up a couple minutes ago. I'm eating my lunch right now. And I'm going to watch some WWE Monday Night Raw. And I'm really looking forward to that because of what happened last night. I hope it's good. And, uh, yeah, I probably won't review Raw probably until uh, I, get, I go back to Massachusetts. So I'm really stoked for this Raw. Let's hope it's good. But anyhow, I really had a really fun time on this trip. I'll try to take more video footage as I go back. And uh, sorry I didn't vlog as much, but uh, a lot of the vlogs that I took place was Snapchats. And a lot of the stuff that I took was... I just, I was spending time more with family than vlogging, so I apologize for that. Can't believe I leave today. It's insane, but it's been one hell of a trip. Alright, look at Xavier Woods. Hold on. Look at that. That doesn't look long. Okay guys, I'm waiting for my plane now. I actually uh really excited for that. I can't wait for it. Um I'm upset though because uh my trip to WrestleMania is now over, but it's nice to go back home and uh I'll update you guys when I get on the plane.
Okay, everyone, so I'm home now, and, um, I just got home a few minutes ago, uh, or, like, an hour ago, and, uh, you know, I have to go to bed now, because I gotta go back to school tomorrow. Yeah, then the real world continues, I have to go right back to school tomorrow, that kind of sucks, especially, too, since I'm gonna be, like, an hour behind now going to school, so it's gonna be, like, a weird process. Um, what was I gonna say? So, um... I don't remember what I was going to Oh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry I didn't do like a lot of talking and stuff. It's more photos than anything. But um, I was mainly just spending time with my family and all that stuff. So, um, you know, um, I have to come back to the snowstorm. And one story I do want to tell you is I met this girl who was like a huge wrestling fan. She went to everything. I don't remember her name off the top of my head. But, um, it, um, she, like, went to everything, and we just talked, like, we knew each other all along, but we really didn't, and she seemed really cool, so I got to meet her, and, um, you guys got to see all the merchandise and stuff I got, um, and I am gonna try now to really up this channel, because it really feels like I've been down on the channel, I'm gonna try to up it again, I'm gonna try to do more reviews, we're trying to bring the Aftershock corner back, so, hopefully that can work out, um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I t talked about it in the channel update video, so, I hope I can work it out, it may not be this month, it may be next month, but I am gonna try to really revamp this channel and bring it back, at least to its normal glory, because it's really been, like, really lagging these past few, these past, I'd say, uh, three months, just because um, of school and all that stuff. So I hopefully I can uh, really revamp the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can click everything in the description box to check out and subscribe to this channel. And that's pretty much it, guys. Peace out. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I hope you guys get an opportunity to experience going to a WrestleMania because it really is awesome.